Hello, Natchez. I'm Dan Gibson, your mayor, and I'm coming to you today from an iconic landmark home here in Natchez, the Towers, and I'm with Mrs. Ginger Highland, the owner. How are you today, Ginger? Oh, I'm just wonderful, Dan. It's so nice to have you here. It's great to be here. What a beautiful day. Thank you. Ginger, I have loved this home since I was a kid. Tell us, how old is this house? Well, it was actually built in three time periods, the first being 1798, which is a wing on the north side of the house. Behind the fancy front here was 1826, and then by 1858, when all the big columns were being built and everything was so fancy, then the Italianate high style was added on. Wow, it is one of a kind. Absolutely. It's the only structure like this in the southern half of Mississippi. And, you know, for all these years, I remember as a kid thinking, oh, it's a shame. I've been told there had been a fire, and one of the towers had been lost. They had taken the other tower down. Yes. I used to use my imagination. Well, what would it have looked like? And now we need not imagine any longer. Now it's come back. The fire was in 1927, burning the one tower, taking down the second one. And it had, the towers had been off the house for 90 years when we put them back on. So I bought the house some 15 years ago, uh, restored it inside and out. But four years ago, my husband said, Ginger, we've got to find a way to put the towers back on. Yeah. What a project it was. But, oh, it looks so fabulous now amazing. we just love it amazing yes well we want to see what's inside oh. and i understand you are well you you're having a special easter tour do you have tours throughout the year yes we tour throughout the year and we love decorating for holidays and easter is one of the big ones and so we're fully decorated with rabbits and ribbons and eggs everywhere well let's go check it out Ginger, it's just beautiful. Well, we're standing in 1858 with the 14-foot ceilings here. Wow. Behind us, down the hallway, is 1826 with the 12-foot ceilings. We've restored the entire interior so that almost all of the furnishings are between 1840 and 1865. And I've been a collector now for some 45 years, and there are collections in this house that you almost never see outside of museums. Let's see the Easter collection. Well, let's start with the staircase right here. And look at the six-foot rabbit that's trying to slide down the banister, of which I thoroughly disapprove. I want you to know, but I think he's going to do it anyway. But you might notice there's a lot of jeweling on his coat, and I put every one of those stones on him, and it took three weeks to do it. Wow. <laughs> Ginger, one thing that's great about the towers is you get a different experience with every room you enter. And this is the blue parlor, and it's probably my favorite room in the house. Look at how gorgeous this is. We brought in drapery specialists from New Orleans. Look at the lace on the windows because it's all antique lace. This is French tambour from 1900. The furnishings in here are mostly by John Henry Belter, who in my opinion was the finest of all the Victorian American furnitures, and some of his finest patterns are in this house. We've got music boxes in here. We've got much more Easter to look at, and it's a wonderful room to experience. Unbelievable. This is one of my favorite displays at Easter time because it's all costume jewelry. And I work with several people overseas doing these beautiful jeweled eggs and flowers and bunnies. And it's so much fun to see at Easter time. And then they make jeweled Christmas trees for our Christmas tours. And so, Ginger, talking about tours... You really do a big jewel Christmas tour each year. Yes, we decorate the house with a lot of vintage costume jewelry. So it's sparkly everywhere, and we're on tour for, from about the middle of November to the end of December, and the jewelry is presented, the costume jewelry is presented in wonderful holiday vignettes. So it makes everyone smile, and that's one of the things we show are standing jeweled Christmas trees, because what says a jewel old Christmas better than something like this. Ginger, it is really looking like Easter. 
yes. in this beautiful room. It Tell us about is. your Easter tours. Well, we we have a beautiful tour that's about all the beautiful things in the house, but it specializes with Easter through Easter Sunday and maybe a few days afterwards, particularly for people who'd like to come on Saturdays and Sunday mornings. And you can always go to our website to find out what the schedule is because my husband keeps it up daily so that you know when we're touring and available. And we would just love to have and people And what is come. that website? The Towers of Natchez. Com. I want to thank you, Ginger Highland, and your husband, James, for opening your house to us today. It has been a beautiful experience just seeing all of these treasures. And why don't you join me? Let's wish Natchez a very, very happy, happy Easter. Easter. And that time is satin tall.